Well, the children of Israel had been made ready to enter their promised land and take possession of it. But something went terribly wrong. They went in to take a quick look around to spy out the land and they came back in unbelief. They were afraid of the people. God saw their unbelief as rejection of Him, and as a result, they would not enter the Promised Land. Only Joshua and Caleb, men of faith, would realize God's promises. So welcome to this week's Shabbat Shalom devotional when I seek to share a little inspiration and bring a little peace to the close of your very busy week. So this week's Torah portion comes from Numbers chapters 13 through 15. Now, everything we've been reading in Numbers up to this point is in anticipation of entering the Promised Land and taking possession of it. The children of Israel had been counted, they'd been organized in tribes, they'd been placed around the tabernacle, the tabernacle had been dedicated, they had made their offerings and observed the Passover, they're now ready. and. They learned how to follow the cloud and follow the pillar of fire so that God could lead them. So they're now ready. They're ready to enter the land. And in chapter 13, God tells Moses to send 12 spies, one from each tribe, into to spy out the land, take a look around. Well, when Moses gives his instructions to the people, though, he went beyond God's instructions. He told them not just to go in and look at the land, but to analyze the people, make a military assessment. That was the downfall of the whole enterprise because they came back and 10 out of the 12 spies were afraid of the people and their military assessment was, we can't do it. But it was Joshua that spoke in faith. And he said in uh, verse eight here, If the Lord delights in us, then He will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. So Joshua knew that God was more than able to do it and that it is God who would do it. It wasn't up to their natural strength, their numbers, their height, their military prowess, nothing. It was up to God. But the people wanted to stone Joshua. They rejected what he said and they refused to enter the land. So let's see how how God views this situation. In Numbers 14, verse 11, it says, Then the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people reject me? And how long will they not believe me with all the signs which I have performed among them? So my friend, God sees your lack of faith and refusal to follow Him and take possession of your own promised land as a rejection of Him, that you are in fact saying He is not able to deliver you. He is not able to protect you. He is not able to provide for you. So whatever situation you may face, never underestimate the power of God to turn it around. Voice your faith that with Him you can do it, and then step out in faith and watch Him act. And with that, I wish you Shabbat Shalom.